Hey guys, welcome to another video, and in this episode we're talking about coin tracking and all that stuff. So we're going to cover quickly uh, kind of how to use it, just a quick overview. Um, they also updated it here, so as you can see as you're logging in to coin tracking that they've updated the, the uh, login screen here. It's really the home page of their website and where you log in. So right here you can obviously see that it's completely different. Um, it definitely has a newer look to it. There's a few features that they change, but nothing really uh, too crazy. I think you can actually go under like their um, documentation here and check to see what all they've they've done under the change log and all that good stuff. So you can check that out if you want to yourself. But we're just gonna kind of do an overview of uh, just kind of like what you can do with coin tracking. A few like hacks you can do. Um, like you can obviously track your wallet balances. Your um, you can go in there, you can label different um, transactions. So if you had some outgoing expenses and you paid it in Bitcoin, you can actually use that. If Especially if you're a business, you can put that that was an expense to you. But you have to go in there and log it yourself um, and all that cool stuff. But for the most part, it tracks all those transactions also by um, uh, different exchange API keys. You can um, just import those in, obviously. So for Binance, you know, obviously I'd get my, my API from Binance and just click that and just follow the instructions and you'll import all your transactions from Binance. Um, there's a few little exchanges that you have to do certain things or they may, may not have API imports, but you'll just go over to like manual imports. Uh, so it's kind of like cool stuff like that. Like some of you guys know that I'm in certain uh, different uh, projects and things like that and you can actually come in here and you can track for instance if you if you don't have your private keys say if you're in a platform um, that they own your private keys well you can still come in here and you can still um, enter in you can still um, do a wallet import on that let's just say it's a um, an ETH wallet because with Ethereum wallet sometimes that you know, depending on what platform it is, they might have, you know, it might, you might still have access to it, kind of like Coinbase. Coinbase, um, you can come into here and you can import your wallet and you can track those transactions. Uh, that's a good example is um, Coinbase. Uh, but like a other platform like Dropple, like I don't think you have your private keys to that. So you can still track how much your, your worth is in that wallet. So that's kind of cool uh, way to do that, and it also will update you on you know if you had any transactions or transactions that aren't supposed to be there. That's also a good kind of like hack as well. Um, another is you know like a trading bot. Uh, obviously, coin tracking is very useful when it comes to you know if you own a bot, it'll show you. Um, this is now this is just a demo um, dashboard account, but. Once you implement all this, it'll show you like this timeline of everything. Um, I have it set to dark mode. You can change this to light mode or dimmed or whatever, and it'll change the, the background uh, to update it to the desired taste. Um, so there's that more color. So it shows you your uh, balances here. You know, after you import your coins, it tracks like, uh, you know, tons and tons of coins pretty much every coin out there they update their list quite a bit um, so there's that um, obviously you can do some analysis here uh, but what, what I wanted to go over is somewhat of the pricing here they also have apps for both iOS and Android and it looks like an API integrations as well you have a tax report you can even share your portfolio public portfolio if you want to um, you got your tax reporting, necessary documents, um, and things like that. So um, some people don't like this uh, new change. It pretty much didn't change too much. I think the graphs are having a little bit of trouble, but they may have fixed that already. But other than that, that's pretty much it. You can change this from saying euros to USD, just set by default, I guess. Uh, so app and widget. Uh, but that's pretty much the overall basics of this it shows you know the prices here um, you can go I, I always recommend just getting the pro uh, some people like just paying you know the, the the yearly or the two years but as Bitcoin goes up the price might increase I don't know 
Um, who knows? You know, I'm all about locking in lifetime licenses. While they, yeah, they may not be around forever, but yeah, I think they will be because crypto is not going anywhere, in my opinion. So I don't think they're they continue to update this, and it's just one of the best products out there to track, um, especially for your taxes. Uh, you can go in there and you can uh, you can go in here and do your tax reporting right there. Um, once you're logged in, you can know you'll just click this right here, tax report, and print off the necessary documents for either your accountant or you know whatever you know you want to do so this isn't financial advice guys this is pure entertainment only this is opinion only um so there's that not a financial advisor so don't take any of this as financial or tax advice so there's that coin checking free it just shows you all what the accounts do down here uh, where they've been listed and everything like that so uh well, I think right, yeah, right now I have the pro, but I'm gonna have to upgrade eventually to the unlimited. So, uh, since I already bought the lifetime use for the pro, I it'll uh, subtract that to this one of these prices here. Um, so, or at least the lifetime use, it'll subtract that balance. So, uh, there's that. So, uh, those are some of the the hacks I use for for coin tracking. Um, how I keep track of my wallets, my exchanges, and even my um, custody wallets like Coinbase and um, like Dropple, for instance, which is a, is a trading bot, but I don't have the private keys to that wallet. It's just like a company ran wallet, but um, I can, you know, obviously I can withdraw those funds as I see fit anytime I want to, but I can also keep track of them in coin tracking. But um, that way, you know, for instance, like like I said, Dropple, those of you that know I'm, you know, I have some drops in Dropple, um, I can track that basically with coin tracking and it will show, so it will track the, um, you know, obviously it'll track your income from there. And that way you'll have some kind of documentation showing, you know, for your ta for tax purposes, you'll have that documentation which is kind of useful instead of like doing this whole spreadsheet thing. Um, you can just track, you know, how much, uh, for instance, how much drops, you know, are going into that, to that wallet, um, you know, every so often. So that's kind of a hack I use um, it for. And then, like I said, obviously like wallets and the, the obvious stuff like exchanges, like I can come in here under API and go to Binance and uh, it'll show you the menu here. You can just come in here and go through, you know, it shows you exactly what to do, steps one through four. You know, you would come in here and enter your API key and your secret as well. Just copy and paste that if you want to. Your Binance trading pairs, you need to read exactly what it says here to do. Uh, just because it takes a long time for it to read the Binance API key. So you kind of want to track the pairs specifically. Uh, which is kind of the pain in the butt, but you have to do it. So there's that. Um, it doesn't do that with any other exchange, um, but Binance really. But the most, the other ones, like I think Bitrix is pretty simple. It just automatically updates. Once you put in the API key, you don't have to do that trade pair thing with most of them like that. Some of them have, some of them you have to manually import with a CSV file, which is fine. You just, you know, some you can just log in, download it. And then upload it to coin tracking. Um, you have your trade statistics, trade list, your trade trade prices, current balance, your daily balance, balance by exchange, which it breaks it down, even down to your wallet, balance by currency, trading fees, how much you know, obviously fees you incurred, double entry list to see if you need to go over that and check that. Real your realized and unrealized gains, trade analysis, average purchase price, tax free coins, short and long, um, easy enter statistics. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. You get your bulk imports um, if you need to do that. So uh, let me know what you guys think below. Is this something you guys would use? Um, literally, it's probably what the number one tool that most people use out there, especially if you're operating like Profit Trailer or some kind of a bot out there, um, and you you know have your you know account or i guess your exchange hooked up to this it's just very easy to track and it doesn't you know at the end of the year you're not going to have this big headache like you know what am i going to do for taxes or having to you know um 
file an extension or have like you know pay thousands and thousands of dollars to an accountant when you can just print this off yourself you may still have to hire an accountant obviously but um you know it'll make his life your life and everybody's life a lot easier and all that good stuff um so some of these features are a little bit newer but you know it's kind of self-explanatory if you don't have an account you can register for free they have like free accounts on here that you know it tracks for you know i don't it doesn't do that many transactions but at least it's free you can sign up for free um and there's that uh but yeah so it's cool like I said, I'm going to go unlimited eventually when I want to spend that much Bitcoin on it. Um, I already have the Pro Unlimited, so um, there's that to so kind of get started with it. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'll leave a link below for you guys, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Comment below. I read pretty much all of the comments on here. Um, and if you want to see me do a certain video on another tool like this, let me know. And I will do it for you guys, but I will see you guys in the next video and at the blockchain. Peace.